Circus Maximus Chariot Wars proves a great concept does not automatically equal a good game, squandering its unique concept. The idea of racing in Roman chariots while trying to take out your foes could have made for an anarchic fun, and extending that premise to a 4 player mode sounds even better. Unfortunately, Kodiak Interactive failed to make good on this, making for an uneventful time that pales next to competing racers. Lifeless racing, a blandly assembled career mode and flat presentation results in a sleep inducing time, and unless you can find free friends to join with you, its few positives are dwarfed by a noticeable lack of energy. Like the title suggests, Circus Maximus sees you partaking in chariot racing across Roman stages. It proves a quirky system to become accustomed to, though a lengthy list of tutorial challenges helps. Rather than holding a button to move forward, you must get your horses up to speed and maintain that without dropping or overextending their stamina. You can also lean with your rear character, which can help with balance as hard steering can risk overturning your chariot. Speaking of, the character in the back also serves as your warrior. You can perform several strikes, a block and a taunt, with a powerful strike which can wreck other drivers if they are stunned. It creates an extensive control list, and for some it might prove a touch awkward, but it can be acclimatised to with practice. Unfortunately, the actual racing itself proves dreadfully dull. There's a sluggish sense of speed, even if you consider the vehicle type. Combat doesn't really add much spice, with only drops of blood lending any impacts to your attacks. Deathmatches see you trying to earn 5 kills first, but it's somehow even more lacklustre. Track designs feel mixed, with some just resembling a circle while larger courses lack much more complexity. Some also outstay their welcome, taking close to 10 minutes to clear over three laps. Power-ups, ranging from speed boosts to damage buffs, add little spice. Shortcuts offer a chance to get ahead, but they often come with hazards that can cause your vehicle to crash. However, these shortcuts prove borderline essential as the AI suffers from some serious rubber banding issues. On the default setting, you'll struggle to get a meaningful lead as opponents bounce back from crashes almost instantly and never seem to fall far behind. Even if you take shortcuts, they pace back to you with alarming speed. It can make racing a deadly combination, dull and frustrating. It doesn't help that the content surrounding this racing isn't much better. Arcade allows you to set up custom races, while tournament serves as the main meat of the game. Taking you through multiple courses as you attempt to earn denarii to unlock the next stage, this could be earned through victories, defeating foes and running over pedestrians. Frustratingly, you'll end up repeating the course multiple times to progress as the game swaps between forward and reverse variants of tracks until you earn the requisite denarii. It grows tiresome quick, but luckily you could likely clear this mode in a couple of hours. Finishing on certain difficulties rewards more tracks, deathmatch arenas and characters, but it proves superficial. Multiplayer offers some potential, allowing four players to race as one mans the front and the other can fight on the back. You can even play cooperatively against AI, and it can produce some short-lived appeal. But racing still suffers from the aforementioned problems, meaning you'll likely have trouble convincing friends to join you. Chariot Wars isn't much of a looker, though it runs at a smooth clip at least. Characters and tracks look pretty basic, and the animations feel a touch stiff, especially the taunts. Crashes, 
at the very least, can offer some destructive appeal, only heightened by replay cams, but otherwise, nothing stands out visually. The sound is pretty bare too, with low-key music which fails to add drama to the races. Voice work is lacklustre, and taunt lines repeat often, which quickly becomes groan-inducing. The only bright spot is the tutorial voiceover, whose chastising lines and dry insults prove quite amusing. They even, casually, throw out that they are much better looking than our trainees. But sadly, the trainer isn't enough to recommend this one. Pay attention! You aren't giving up yet, are you? Circus Maximus Chariot Wars squanders its interesting ideas under lethargic racing, a lack of content and frustrating issues. If you're not half asleep as you're meandering at a slow pace through races, you'll be frustrated as rubber banding AI causes you headaches. A boring presentation and lack of modes exacerbates these issues. If you can somehow recruit a trio of friends to join in, the multiplayer may keep you entertained for a few sessions. Otherwise, you can rest easy avoiding this one, feeling like anything but a Roman epic. 